I grew up um, um, bicultural and bilingual, um, so in between two worlds, uh, traveling all the time. Um, every summer I spent in Italy, um, and the school year I would spend here, um, except for a few years I spent, I studied in Italy. Um, so what did that give me? It gave me a curiosity um, for exploring other places. You know, I was introduced to this um, you know, these two worlds, and I said, there are more worlds, right? There are more worlds out there. Uh, ciao, mi chiamo Eugenia, um, ho 23 anni e studio qua all'Università dell'Oregon, uh, studio uh, lingue romanze, antropologia e studi del Medio Oriente. Parlo uh, inglese, ovviamente, uh, italiano, spagnolo, francese e un po' di arabo. So um, the combination of anthropology and Romance languages really um, intrigued me because um, anthropology is basically um, a study where, you know, um, an in-depth study of a particular culture, right? And it's usually a culture that's different from your own and um, knowing a language um, is necessary, right, for uh, uh, ethnographic field work and for um, just traveling. Uh, so that's why I combine the two, um, the two uh, majors. So I started learning um, Spanish in middle school and French in middle school as well. And I, um, in middle school, my first uh, trip, uh, uh, study abroad was in middle school at 12 years old. So I started traveling very, very young. It was in Mexico, Guana Guanajuato, Mexico and I, um, that changed my life, you know, that's when uh, my love of languages and cultures spark. So it's not just because I'm Italian that I've become fluent in Spanish and French, right? It, it took practice and it took um, speaking, right? So I, in my language learning, I emphasize speaking rather than um, writing, grammar, um, etc. I really do emphasize uh, just going for it in terms of the spoken. The, the writing you can always learn, right? And I, I have learned. But it's been easier for me to learn the writing and the literature. Um, having started off and really prioritized the speaking component. The most gratifying moment of when you, you know, realize that you're fluent is when your embodiment, when you're able to embody that culture, right? So um, it's called in academia, it's called embodied language processing. And it's basically when you're so fluent that um, the environment around, you're so fluent in the language that the environment around you um, um, and your cognitive abilities at the same time influence the way that you think, right? So um, I have a different identity, personality, and um, thought process in all of the languages that I speak, um, as well as um, body movements, and <laughs> just movements in general, and um, tone of voice. My tone of voice fluctuates in different languages. So my ability to embody the culture um, that I am that I am in through the language and through uh, body movements related to language speaking has given me the ability to connect way more deeply with um, locals.